Good day guys, my name is Dan and welcome to another episode of CryptoLite. Today is the 29th of May and the market is looking particularly red. Everything is on discount. June is just around the corner and June will also mark the end of the second quarter for the year. A lot of roadmap milestones will be ending in June and there are several big events, example mainnet launches that I think will make June one of the most exciting months we've had this year so far. As always, I will take you through some of my top picks for the upcoming month of June and this is not based on my own personal preferences but based on roadmaps and upcoming events. To find out the top 7 coins to pay attention to in the month of June, keep watching this video. My first pick for the month of June is the coin VeChain. Everyone knows VeChain. VeChain is the biggest blockchain supply chain project at the moment and is also one of the leading public blockchains. VeChain is expected to launch their mainnet by the end of June and mainnets are always a big news for any platform because mainnet is basically the biggest technical milestone that the project will have in their history. At mainnet launch, current VAN tokens will be changed to VAT tokens, VET tokens, with one VAN token worth 100 VAT tokens. But don't be put off by the number because the actual proportion and market cap will remain exactly the same. It is simply a shift in decimal points to a smaller unit for more token use case. Mainnet will also mark the start of proof of staking and master nodes earning with VeChain, so this is going to be huge. The details of these are not out yet, but definitely keep your eye out for that. VeChain is a very popular project and I imagine a lot of people will be trying to get into a master node. VeChain has also been building a lot of momentum recently. Just yesterday, they announced a partnership with Lingan International Manufacturing Exhibition Trading Center, and two days before that, they were announced to be used to verify wine origins and fight counterfeit wines in China. They also recently won a technological award at LVMH Innovation Award just a few days ago, and this week they also got listed on Bitmark Exchange as well. So there's definitely a lot of momentum going on for this project going into mainnet month, and I am expecting VeChain to have a very big June. Currently, VeChain is sitting at $3.06, and you can see a strong support line at the $3.50 to $3.60 price point, which VeChain actually fell through recently. Personally, I think anything below $3.50 is a very good buy for VeChain, so $3.06 currently is an extremely attractive price point from my point of view, especially going into mainnet month. This is not professional advice of course, just my personal opinion. The next project I got my eye on in June is High Performance Blockchain or HPB. I think HPB is the fastest blockchain platform out there that is seriously undervalued at the moment. HPB utilizes both software and patented hardware to achieve super scaling. Currently in testnet with only software, they are already doing 10,000 transactions per second, which is way faster than most platforms. With hardware complementing the system, they are expecting to achieve millions of transactions of seconds in the near future. In my opinion, HPB is way ahead of any other blockchain platform out there in terms of technology. HPB mainnet is due in the second quarter, so by the end of June, and that's going to be huge for them. Mining with HPB will require a special hardware that is designed by the company. Details of this is not out yet, and this feature may not be available by mainnet. The other hot thing about HPB to take note is that they have a recent partnership with Union Pay, which is China's largest financial data company. To give you an idea of how big this deal is, Union Pay currently handles more than 80% of China's annual banking transaction data, and their annual transaction amount is actually more than Visa and MasterCards combined together. The rumored launch date for this combined project is going to start in the third quarter and in July, so we are hoping to hear more news towards the end of June and there's a lot of anticipation that June is going to be a huge month for HPB. Now I've been following HPB for a while so I'm quite familiar with their price action. The whole of last month, HPB was fluctuating between $3.40 and $3.80. So $3.40 seems to be a rather strong resistance line or support line for them. And over the last few days in the bear market, they finally dropped below that support line and are currently sitting at $2.88, which is almost 20% less than the known support line. So I think that this is actually a very attractive price to get into HPB. 
For me, HPB isn't a one-month swing trade. It's a long-term huddle. They might grow a little bit lower, but I think that anything below $3 is a great buy for this project. HPB also isn't listed on any major exchanges yet. So if they ever get listed on any big exchanges or if they do a big move like announcing a rebrand, the price will definitely shoot up and it's very likely that we will never see these prices again. So HPB is definitely one of my top picks for the month of June. My third pick for the month of June is Ontology. Ontology is well known to many of you, it's a very popular interoperability project at the moment that specializes in identity verification. They are expected to launch the mainnet by the end of June and Ontology already has a pre-release of their mainnet on their GitHub. So they call it the version 0.8 where version 1.0 will be the mainnet so it's nearly done. The pre-release version already has details about their proof of stake, the virtual machine fee calculation and a whole lot of other features. So the chance of Ontology launching a mainnet by June is almost certain. Now Ontology will have a second token, the ONG token, uh, released when that will start to be manufactured once mainnet is launched and it will work pretty much like NEO and GAS. So Ontology tokens will generate ONG tokens when held in the wallet. The very attractive thing potentially is about the return of interest. From their social medias, I read that apparently the return of interest is expected to be about 10% annually. I don't know if this is true because it's just from social media and it hasn't been confirmed by the team. But if this is true, this is simply huge. In comparison, NEO generating gas is only about 3% annual returns. Dash sits about 5 to 7% and that's one of the highest currently among the reliable top coins. So a 10% return on ontology annually will make it the highest that I've heard for for a good and decent coin. If this return of interest is true, it will definitely make ontology one of the best long-term investments on the market. Now currently ontology is sitting at $5.70. Just a week ago, this coin was sitting at $7.50, so it's dropped almost 25% in a week. I personally think that anything under $6 is a very good entry point for Ontology based on recent times. $5.70 is a steal in my opinion. So this is a project that I think that whatever price you buy right now, it still has a lot of room to grow in the future. The next coin on my radar for the month of June is Loom. Loom is a second layer protocol built on Ethereum to help provide scalability and security for the Ethereum network and is targeting games and social media dApps. This is a very exciting technology that is also integrating Plasma Cache technology and Plasma Cache is basically the upgraded form of Plasma technology. So it's a hot technology that many people, including myself, think will be game changing for Ethereum and currently there's a lot of attention in the community on Loom. Now, Loom as a project doesn't believe in white papers or roadmaps, but they do uh, release information in their announcements. So coming up in June, they will have both the Loom SDK, which is their software development kit, which is the core feature of the project, as well as Plasma support being added to the SDK all in the month of June. Also, they will be releasing three in-house games over the next three months, so possibly there could be announcements or just a game release in June itself. They have also hinted at some big name projects that are currently working on Loom whom they can't announce yet. So definitely a lot of things to look forward to for Loom in the next quarter, but definitely big stuff happening in the month of June. I still think that this is very early days for Loom and getting in now to Loom is uh, really getting into uh, Ethereum at a very young age. Like everything else, Loom took a pretty big hit with the recent bear market. They are currently sitting at only 32 cents, which is pretty much where they were a month ago. Their mecha cap at the moment is 197 million, which I think is pretty big for a fairly new project. But their technology is massive and game changing. Their technology is changing Ethereum, which is a $66 billion market cap platform. So there's definitely a lot of room for Loom to grow. In this current bear market, most coins are at very attractive prices, but I'm definitely keeping my eye on Loom. The fifth coin that I'm gonna take a that I'm gonna keep an eye on in June is Fusion. Now, Fusion is a very interesting platform that uses both proof of work and proof of stake consensus. It's a very smart project. They will also be launching their mainnet in June. And from what I understand, they are offering quite a high return of interest, 8 to 10%. So I think that this is also a very attractive project to pay attention to. 
In recent times, Fusion has taken quite a beating in terms of pricing. I'm not sure why this is to be honest. It was previously ranked up in the top 50 coins and currently it is ranked at 83, so it's fallen a long way. Just two weeks ago, Fusion was priced almost $10 and right now it's sitting at $5.25, almost half the price. Fusion is a fairly good project and there is no reason that I know of for it to drop so much. So I am expecting a big rebound when the market turns green and coupling that with May net month, I think June is going to look exciting for Fusion. The sixth coin that I want to introduce to you guys for June is Cash. Cash for those of you who don't know the project is a decentralized exchange that is creating what is known as the liquid platform to aggregate all major exchanges in the world onto one single platform. Cash is a very exciting and promising project. Their feature technology is the world book and the liquid platform. The liquid platform is due to be released by the end of second quarter, so by the end of June, and this is like the main net for the project. Just five days ago, there was already a Reddit post that showed a Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin pairing that is working on the world book already. So the technology is working and there is a high expectation that the Liquid platform will be released in the month of June. Since the start of this year with the continuous bear market, Cash has really been hit hard. At its peak in January, Cash was sitting around $2.50 but right now it's only sitting at $0.51, cents. so that's basically an 80% drop. Okay, most coins have recovered to about half of their all-time high but Cash is still sitting only at 20% of its all-time high. It still has so much room to rebound, I feel that all Cash needs is a really big push to get back into the crypto community's attention. If they are ever going to do that, Liquid Platform launch, which is their biggest technology um, milestone, that will be the time. So I'll be rooting for Cash in the month of June and hoping that they will get the momentum they need to really do a moonshot. My last pick for the month of June is by no means the least, in fact it is one of my favourites and that is none other than Elastos. If you watch our recent Elastos video, you would know that I think Elastos is simply one of the best projects out there currently. It is an internet-based operating system that is designed by one of the creators of the .NET and has been in the creation of the work since 2000, so that's 17 years in the making. Now, Elastos is currently ranked number 74 on the market and is only on two exchanges, Huob and BSEX. So only on those two small exchanges, it's currently sitting already at number 74 on the market. The reason Elastos is not listed on biggest exchanges yet is because there is a technology that's called SPV that allows for simplified transactions on exchanges that they are still testing. So it's, they're not ready in terms of technology to be released on the major exchanges yet. Now that technology is due to be finished by the end of May and the team has already tweeted that they have been talking to exchanges and have already signed up with seven exchanges. So this is huge. Being listed on one major exchange can do wonders to a token pricing. Being listed on seven exchanges in a short period of time would be unprecedented and simply huge. So I'm very bullish on Elastos in the very near future. Elastos price is currently at $38.67. I personally think that anything below $46 for Elastos is a very good buy. Anything below $40 for Elastos is a great buy. In fact, once the news of listing on multiple exchanges are released, I think we will never see these prices again. Elastos is definitely a coin I have my eye on both this month as well as the long term. So those are my top picks for the month of June, guys. We've done review videos on all of the above projects except VeChain, which we will do shortly. So make sure you check out our videos if you want to learn more about each of these projects. There is one last thing I wanted to introduce to you guys today, and that is a website that I found recently that I think is very helpful for people who are new to the crypto space. That website is bestcrypto.tv. It's a website that gathers the best crypto YouTubers videos in one place for viewing. The YouTubers here, I went through them, they are really good YouTubers, they are not the shilly, fluffy kind of content, it's people that I respect very much like Data Dash, Crypto Zero and more. So if you are new to the crypto space, definitely check this site out. It's a very good site for good information and if you are in the crypto space for a little while and you already have your list of favorite crypto YouTubers, I would recommend still checking them out to see if there's any other YouTuber you might add, like to add to your list. 
The website is split into different categories. There's ICO reviews, cryptocurrency reviews, techni technical analysis, and more. It's a very easy site to navigate. And just in case you're wondering, no, I am not paid by these guys to promote this website. It's just a very good resource that I found recently. When I was a new investor in crypto, I didn't know how to find good crypto YouTubers. So I just followed the ones who had the most subs, in other words, the biggest channels. And nowadays, if I had to choose again, my choices would be very different. So I think a website like bestcrypto.tv is a very good resource to help people to actually find good reviews. All right, guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for joining us. If you found this video helpful, do give us that like and subscribe. And we also have a donation link below if you would like to support me and this channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. Take care and we will catch up with you again very soon.